We are at uh, Washington Magnet at the first ever Culturally Responsive Instruction Expo. It's an opportunity for us to gather really a, the culmination of, of our work for Strategic Focus Area 3A, Culturally Relevant Instruction, which we've been focusing on since 2018 as part of SPPS Achieves. Uh, so today is a chance for us to showcase progress that we've made, to hear from our own educators, but to also bring in experts from the field in our own community who can share their experiences as well. Our students in St. Paul speak over 100 different languages at home. They literally come from every corner of the planet. Uh, and our ability to engage and meet them on their wavelength with culturally relevant uh, education and teaching uh, is critical to our ability to educate all of our students. And so I'm excited that our educators have taken this on uh, th this week. Uh, and I just wanted to come by and let them know how much I love and appreciate them. This is an event for us to celebrate, celebrate the good work that's already being done in St. Paul Public Schools of practices that are already culturally responsive and also learn from each other and uh, share resources. So it's meant to be very celebratory, but also immersive and uh, professional development. We were given a set of visual instructions and uh, told to make origami butterflies. And I was in a group of people and we were helping each other and it was, everyone had a very different process. It was beautiful the way we all helped each other and um, got through the process of making a beautiful butterfly. The takeaway from this is you never know what you don't know. And hearing stories from people of all different backgrounds and um, learning about our own blind sides, our own um, things, that, how important it is to learn from others. Our focus is to um, bring in, invite back homegrown excellence that have been produced by St. Paul Public Schools that are local. And that uh, goes from, uh, you know, keynote speakers to presenters who are all educators of St. Paul Public Schools uh, to um, lunch. We have food trucks that are provided by local businesses. One thing I would just encourage all St. Paul Public School staff, if they haven't been involved in a culturally relevant expo, uh, please, you know, if they haven't visited this year, please come out next year, because this is some exciting work. This is work that we need uh, to make St. Paul schools uh, you know, a well-rounded education system.